Okay, so on to displacements. Um, what a displacement is, is it's essentially a brush face. Like, if I uh, go into my face edit sheet and then click right here. It's one of these brush faces, uh, and I'm just giving them more information about uh, how to, you know, how to draw that, uh, that face. So I can give it uh, more vertexes, essentially, is what it's doing. So I can... Uh, it um it will make it look smoother it won't be flat i'm sorry not smoother it won't be flat anymore you can pull, you can extrude it you can push it in um you can make it look like and essentially what it's used for is look it makes it look like uh, ground or earth or uh, curved surfaces you can use you can make hills and valleys out of displacements um so we're going to create some and then turn this mess or this you know this flat area in here into kind of a ground uh nice uh huggable kind of action guy going on and then we'll work on this and I'll show you to make kind of a um a similar thing for a cliffside which you see a lot in team fortress okay so the you can make any face a displacement by pulling up your face edit sheet here and then selecting a face, hitting this displacement tab, and then hitting create. I'm not going to do it yet because I don't want to do it to this um, to this particular face. This face, this whole brush, is one of the brushes that's separating uh, the game world from out here. And if we turn it into a displacement, unfortunately, the displacement will not block um, it, w it will not uh, it, it's not technically a solid brush and it will not draw viz leaves again which I talked about in tutorial 8 um, and it will cause your map to not compile correctly you need to seal your entire map off from this outside void here and displacements do not seal um, do not does not uh, d they don't serve to uh, seal off your map just for um, illustrative purposes, pulled up uh, Dust Bowl here. And so this is what Dust Bowl looks like with displacements on uh, the curves in this canyon wall here and on the ground. And when I turn them off, you can kind of see what it would look, what the computer uh, thinks it looks like. So uh, again, this whole cliffside is gone. We've got these no draw brushes underneath and we're going to do some something similar in our map as well but this is what the computer sees um, just to see that if you um, after you're done making your displacements I suggest that you turn them on and off and just check to see uh, if all of your um, if all of the uh, uh, ways out of your map are sealed up by solid brushes okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to get my no draw texture back. I'm actually going to put a, let's see if I can tone down the, the grid size here. I'm going to put a thin layer of what's going to be ground, and I want to make it a lot smaller. So that much. It's going to be a thin layer of ground that's on top of our ground, which seems a little strange, but we're doing this because we don't want to have any leaks. So once you're satisfied with the size of your um, what your displacement is going to be, hit enter. And I do suggest, uh oh shit, I made a sphere. Okay, <laughs> that's my bad. I forgot to change from the last video block and pull that up okay there we go block okay so I do suggest you make smaller displacements and then we'll learn how to sew them together into larger displacements because smaller ones you can get a lot more definition out of them uh, you don't want to force it eh, well, again you'll, you'll see what I mean in just a minute all right so we're going to make the top face here a displacement. We're going to make it look like the ground. So left click on 
the top face here in your face edit sheet, hit displacement, and then hit create. And then you'll get this um, displacement creation power thing right here. Uh, the power is so how how many subdivisions do you want on your displacement? How defined or how um, how variable do you want it to be? The more uh, the larger this number is, the more uh, complex the displacement is, which means that the ground will look more realistic, but it will also take up higher uh, processing power to render. So I usually just stick with three and then just stitch faces together in in these blocks. Um, and uh, so I'm going to hit OK. Again, you can do what you want. And here is our newly made displacement. You can see that it looks like a flat sheet. And it will not actually show up when you're under it. So it's a one-dimensional, or yeah, it's a two-dimensional sheet. It's not actually a block anymore. The 2D views think, it, think it's a block. Um, so here it is. It actually, when you select it, it is the same block shape that we had um, when we uh, when we started making it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it off the ground for right now, uh, off this ground, and I'm going to apply a new texture to it, just to make it a little, just type in, um, I don't know, ground. And here's a bunch of ground textures. Try to select one of the ones with the uh, horizontal, um, or the, the difference between uh, two textures in the middle of them, like a horizontal thing. And uh, we'll, we'll get into that later about how um, to blend textures together in this tutorial. So I'm going to select one of those, and I'm going to right click to apply it to my um, displacement just to see what I'm doing. And now I can modify this displacement. I'm going to select it again, and face edit sheet, hit displacement. All of your displacement work will be in the, uh, in the face edit sheet. And then you can select any number of these tools right here. I'm going to hit paint geometry, and this is uh, where things get interesting. This will open up a tool that lets you raise or lower the, um, or uh, you know, move from side to side if you're working with a horizontal displacement. Um, uh, to make it look, to make valleys or mountains or ridges or whatever have you. You can, so just try it, you can right click to lower a specific um, vertex or you can left click to raise a vertex. So right now you can do that by default it's, it's pretty um, you can only raise one at a time but that's pretty obnoxious so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this uh, radius right here up to 87. Now when I put my tool on the ground here it's got a much larger radius It's going to affect a larger part of my displacement. So again left click uh, subtracts a value um, and usually lowers it or moves it one direction if you're working with a um, horizontal displacement and left click increases value. If you want the increase or decrease to be faster or slower, then you change this value right here, which says distance. So if I wanted to go down to 2, then I can make finer adjustments. You can also use things like raise 2, and this is useful if you want to flatten it at a, if you know how high you want the, um, the displacement to be, then I can say, okay, raise 2, 32. And then I can start clicking and then it will raise it uniformly to uh, 32 inches or 32 hammer units from where the displacement was created. Oops. Paint geometry. And you can also smooth it. So I can smooth these edges out right here by left clicking and it will try to make a smoother um, smoother hill or smoother uh, valley from from one part of the displacement to another. So I can try to smooth that out a little bit. And now you can see we have sort of a 